We know head injuries are a serious risk for athletes and non-athletes alike, but what distinguishes a concussion from a run-of-the-mill bump on the head? Let's take a closer look inside the brain to see what this trauma looks like. A hockey player smashes his head on the ice after making contact with a player from the opposing team. Though he's wearing a helmet that prevents skull fractures, it didn't protect him from a concussion. The impact of the fall was powerful enough to make his brain slosh back and forth against the skull. This is what takes the fall from a head injury to a concussion. In order to understand why this mild brain trauma is so dangerous, it's important to understand the structure of the brain. Around the brain is a watery chamber called cerebrospinal fluid. The fluid cushions the gelatinous brain from the hard wall of the skull. The brain has the same texture and consistency as gelatin. It is fragile, delicate, and more easily damaged than you'd think. Within the white matter of the brain are billions of nerve cells called neurons, which communicate with each other through electrical signals called axons. When the hockey player's brain smashed against his skull, the axons were strained, and in this case, some of them even broke apart. This axonal shear could mean the player will have trouble focusing and perhaps suffer memory loss. Neuroscientists don't know exactly where in the brain a concussion happens, but there is research that shows white matter, where the axons are, is most affected by a concussion. When the brain is impacted in this way, symptoms can range from a headache to even loss of consciousness. While CT scans and MRIs can't diagnose a concussion, a doctor only needs one symptom to recommend the only treatment there is, rest. 